happy day, friends. The family is in the van, ready to go. I am in this kitchen, look at this. Look, look, real life, we're getting ready to go for many, many hours over the river, through the woods, to church we go. Then I've gotta do, we've just gotta do stuff after church. You know how things add up, especially when you have to drive as far as we do to go anywhere or do anything. So we've got quite a list. All that to say, I am going to share with you three nights of super easy slow cooker meals. All of my recipes are always large family style. So that means if you are a larger family like my family is, you should have enough for dinner and maybe even some leftovers for tomorrow. If you are a smaller family, we'll say two, four, six-ish size, my larger recipes should definitely be enough for two dinners and maybe some leftovers after that. And I don't know about you, but I'm the leftover queen and I love reusing my leftovers. So tonight we're going to do an easy sausage baked ziti. Tomorrow night we're going to do chicken gravy over rice. And then the third night we are gonna do a kielbasa and potato slow cooker meal. So, so many good things coming up, but let's get this baked ziti going now. Just a kid running in from the van, no big deal. How do you like my baby? Maybe this will be baby number nine. Today's video is sponsored by Panda Pop. Jay Morrell, why are you playing Panda Pop? When you download this game, you're gonna see. It's a mama panda, and every level is this mama fighting for her babies and saving her babies. And I like it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You can download Panda Pop for free. Just use the link down in the description below, and you can play with me. So go ahead and click that link, and we'll play some Panda Pop. Okay, so for this easy slow cooker bake ziti, the first thing you need to do is get three pounds of meat. Preferably meat that already has about a tablespoon of minced garlic garlic and a sliced onion and you cook that up and you drain it. But here's what I did. I'll tell you what you should do, what you could do, and then I'll show you what I did, okay? Last night, I cooked six pounds of sausage in the slow cooker overnight. I used three pounds of that to do egg, sausage, and cheese bakes this morning. I did one for breakfast this morning. One is cooked ahead for breakfast tomorrow morning. Then I have just taken the other six pounds. I've broken it up. You're gonna see it in my slow cooker. You don't have to use sausage. Those of you who would like, you can use ground turkey. You can use ground beef. You can use meat from Walmart. You can use grass-fed meat. Whatever you have available, that's what you use. So here is my three pounds of pre-cooked sausage already broken up. Now we're going to add in the spices and the different tomato sauces. Also, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can add some ricotta cheese to this. I don't have any ricotta, but I have, this is probably about a fourth of a cup of feta. So I'm gonna add some feta crumbles to this baked ziti. Just a reminder that if I miss saying anything because I do, then look at the recipe on largefamilytable.com. So there are of course tons of slow cooker baked CD recipes out there. A lot of them call for spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce. We're doing a little bit of a version of a homemade spaghetti sauce because I don't have any, of course, how it goes. But with the canned tomato sauce that we're using and then all the herbs and spices that are going into this, we're doing the same of making spaghetti sauce. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. So I'm doing this big ziti on low. It'll be on low for about seven to eight hours. Then when we get home, I will need to add in the dry noodles for about the last 30 minutes, but it'll be dinner for us. It'll be ready to go. I would have chopped an onion and let it cook overnight with the sausage. Didn't do it. So I'm doing a tablespoon <laughs> of minced onion because I have it. Now I'm going to do a tablespoon of basil. Then we're going to do a tablespoon of oregano. Oh, let me show you my nice little shelf organizer I got. So you all have seen in my cabinets, you've seen the messes, but look, I got this nice little organizer. Makes my heart happy. So now we'll put in a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. These are the tomato sauces I had got marked down at Sharp Shopper. They were two for a dollar, then they were three for a dollar. So I have a couple cases of them, so I wanna use them up. So I'm using two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. And then I am using two 28 ounce cans. These are organic petite diced tomatoes. Again, got them marked down at Sharp Shopper. Got a whole case of these as well. Want to use them up. Going to use two cans. 
of these. Also, spice-wise, I'm going to do a tablespoon of parsley and a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then we'll mix all this up here in a minute. Because we need to do dishes, I'm gonna, I think this came with our little fry daddy or something a million years ago. Don't even have it anymore. I'm gonna also go ahead and dump in the feta. We will, of course, put more cheese on it later. Okay, so now we're gonna do four cups of water. Thank you, Amelia, for your service. Okay, now that is that. It is going to just cook on low all day. We'll check it out again later tonight. Okay, so we went to church. We did our things. We had a lunch out with some more family, came home, took a nap, went on a big hike. That's why I got my hashtag Jamrell's Funky Summer hat on. I did not want to put the noodles in the slow cooker while I went on my hike because it takes over an hour. So now we're going to dump these noodles in, leave them in for just about 30 minutes, and it should be perfect. My slow cooker is extra bubbly because it's like, woo, Jamrell, you've left me on low a long time. Now we'll pour these noodles in. So this is one 16 ounce box of ziti. We've got another box going in and then I'm gonna stir them up. You know I like to push it. Doesn't that smell yummy? Yep. Yeah. So this big ziti has to sit here with the lid on it for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna play a little panda pop. Okay, this is how far I am. This is the level I'm on. So I'm gonna click that. You've played and I, it? I have been playing it. Amelia's like, what? You've played it? I have been playing this when I had my break day the other day. I sat there and played some panda pop. So I'm going, I'm on this little road. I love it because watch what I'm gonna do. I'm the mommy panda and I'm gonna save my babies. And you'll see what the little babies do. See, they parachute down. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then, but we don't wanna hit the mines. It's a new level. I haven't had the metal balls before, but I think they don't break. But Wait, I have, got that game? Well, I have the game. My kids are so amazed. I have this game and I've been playing it. I think I'm on level 11 or something now. This mommy panda is saving all her babies. Okay, and see they parachute down. Isn't that cute? Oh, she has a lot. It says baby saved. She does have a lot. Did you, does she remind you of your mama? Look, baby saved, yay! You can look down in the description below and click my link to get Panda Pop for free on your phone and even play with me. There we go, there's one baby. We gotta get 20 babies. Okay, we got 18, 19, 20 of our babies, yay! Oh, she's so happy. And her little children say, where's our baked ziti, mommy? Okay, guys, so I just took the lid off to check on it. It was perfect. I added two cups of shredded cheese. The noodles are perfect. The cheese, I put the cheese in, shut the lid for, you know, like a minute, and it was just fine. But there we go, easy baked ziti in the slow cooker. We are back going to Costco to load up on all the things. We want dinner ready for when we get home. So another easy slow cooker meal that is a family favorite is this chicken broccoli Alfredo. I'm gonna dump a bunch of chicken in the slow cooker. I'm gonna put in a block of cream cheese. I'm gonna put in some heavy whipping cream today and some butter. I know that's a whole lot of fats. This is low carb, a trim healthy mama S meal. It would also be keto friendly as your Panda Pop Bear Dan and when we get home later tonight, I will add in a whole bunch of broccoli. I will do some steamed brown rice for the kiddos. If you were doing this at home and keeping it more low carb, you could do it over those zucchini noodles or over spaghetti squash. And then you could also do it with whole wheat noodles for the kiddos or whoever would like it that way. So let's get this all dumped in the slow cooker and let's head on out. All right, so now we're going out shopping. The slow cooker is on low. See ya in eight hours slow cooker and we'll finish this up. So we are back from our Costco and today, back from all of our running around. When we got home, I did a few things. I got some rice in this Instant Pot so that we could have this chicken broccoli Alfredo over it and I added the broccoli in. Also, I was out of sour cream this morning. Whatever I left, so I added in a cup of sour cream. So whenever I added broccoli to the slow cooker, you notice I did not put broccoli in this this morning. I put the full 52 ounce bag of broccoli in the slow cooker about 30 minutes ago, 
and I just recently turned the power off, unplugged it, all of that. So here we go. Here is how it looks. I'll have this recipe linked in the description below, but I did brown rice in the Instant Pot, no brainer. And I had got some of these already ready to go zoodles, zucchini noodles at um, Costco tonight. So I cooked those up for myself. So now we'll serve this out. So this is Zion's plate. He's 16. We got carrots, cotton candy grapes, and then the chicken broccoli alfredo over brown rice. And here's Gabriel's plate. Liam's plate. He also wanted carrots and dip. And here's Benjamin's plate. And then Daniel's. He did not want any rice or grapes, so he's got carrots and just the chicken broccoli alfredo. Okay, friends. So the sink is full of dishes, but that bag right there, it is packed to go to the lake. That is right. A hundred other things we could do, but instead, let's just go to the lake. We've had a ton of rain. We've missed our lake days recently. I don't want to miss no more, so we're going to hit it. Before we head over the river and through the woods to the mountain lake we go, I am going to get a sausage and potato quick and easy meal in the slow cooker, and I'm going to show you right now what I'm throwing together. So I have a five-pound bag of potatoes. What I am going to do is just put whole potatoes in the slow cooker. This is going to cook on low. You can, of course, do this recipe on hot but I'm gonna be gone it'll be at least eight hours before I get back to touch that slow cooker again so I'm gonna put whole potatoes in the slow cooker I am going to chop my onion and some peppers real quick and we're just gonna lay the kielbasa on top and then we're gonna also put some oil in put some quick spices in too so I just put the equivalent of about two tablespoons of oil on the bottom of my slow cooker with the potatoes as I mentioned we are just putting whole potatoes <laughs> Woo, baby squealing. He's running behind me. Whole potatoes in the slow cooker. I do put cut potatoes in the slow cooker, but it's not for when it's going to be this long. You do run the risk, of course, of your potatoes turning all black, and we don't want that. But whole potatoes cook perfectly. No problems whatsoever. So there you go. Five pounds of potatoes. This is my seven or eight quart slow cooker. Now we're going to do the kielbasa and cram a bunch of onions and peppers on top. Shake some spices around. Let it bake all day. Don't forget, download Panda Pop today for free. Go ahead and use my link in the description box and start playing with me. It'll be lots of fun. We're going to save all the little panda babies. Okay, so now all that is chopped in the slow cooker. The lid is going on. Let me give you a quick look at it. Okay, so here we are. There's the slow cooker, got it on low. I went ahead and sliced down the kielbasa. So in this slow cooking bad boy, we have five pounds of red potatoes, almost three pounds of pre-cooked kielbasa, one large onion, three colored peppers. I also put in basil, oregano, some minced onion because I had it, even though we had that other onion. Let's just have all the onions. And then also just a little bit of rosemary. So there you go. It's all in there in layers. Slow cooker lid on. Dinner will be done now when we're back from the lake. Okay, so we are back from the lake. Dinner is done. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Okay, so here we go. We take the lid off. There's all the kielbasa that have cooked all day on low, and the potatoes are done. And under this layer of kielbasa, there are, of course, we've got all the spices. We have peppers, we have onion. It's all in there. So you can do this a couple different ways. I'm going to just work with this and serve it out of the slow cooker. Here is Liam plate. Here's Amelia's plate. It's a small plate, but it's one medium baked potato and about half a hot dog worth there of the kielbasa. And she's got ketchup to dip. And unless anyone thinks we're lacking on fruit and veggies with dinner, we've got the big thing of blueberries out. We just got baths and stuff from the lake, didn't we? And then we have some raspberries we're finishing up from Costco. And then, of course, big dinner plates. There you go. Out of the five-pound bag of potatoes, we have 
five left and a little just a few of these peppers onions and kielbasa so there may be a few who want a second small potato um, I'm going to eat what's left of the kielbasa and the peppers and there there you go that's that also our friends at Panda Pop are providing the prizes for me to host a Panda Pop giveaway how fun is this so after you download the Panda Pop app through my link and play some Panda Pop with me you can head over to my Instagram and enter my Panda Pop giveaway. Panda Pop is giving away some Panda Pop swag, like these cute shirts and little plush toys, which let me just give you some insight. Liam and Amelia and Daniel cannot wait for this video to be done so they can have their Panda Pop plush toys. They've been looking at these all week. I've let them visit with them a few times, but they want to take possession of these. Okay, okay. So I'm sure some of you would love some Panda Pop swag. And Panda Pop is providing a $100 prepaid gift card. So that's certainly worth entering to win. So additionally, go on to Instagram and look for that. Go to pandapop.me forward slash jmorell. I love this game because it is fun and engaging. And who doesn't love a mama panda trying to save her baby pandas? Now I will admit, as I have progressed in Panda Pop, there are some levels where the mama panda ends up crying and she doesn't save all her babies and it's sad. So we just have to keep on progressing in the game and save all the babies each time. What I do on those levels that I struggle with, I just keep starting them over. <laughs> so on this evening in particular, I was worn out mama tired, how most mamas are at night. And I got my shower and my pajamas on and Travis and some of the kids were watching the world's strongest man competition because it's just a big one at our house, haha. -ha. And I was relaxing with my feet up and enjoying playing Panda Pop. And I appreciate Panda Pop for being such a fun, free, and easily accessible game on my phone. I actually don't have any other games on my phone except Panda Pop and helping this mama panda join over 110 million Panda Pop players who are already enjoying this adorably addicting bubble shooter game. Panda Pop is the perfect game for you and your family to play and share this summer. Download from Google Play or the App Store and play for free. And don't forget, check over on my Instagram where I am hosting a Panda Pop giveaway. Go to pandapop.me forward slash jmorell. And if you want some more insight into my life, I'll show you over there. See how my dishwasher is in like two pieces? We bought that new dishwasher. I think I even showed it or I'm gonna show it a, a few days ago. We bought it. The brand new dishwasher box is sitting in the garage. I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow is the day it's going to be amazing. The old funk dishwasher is getting out of here. We literally take it apart like puzzle pieces. So ridiculous. Brand new dishwasher's going in. I'm super excited. So be sure to check out in the next video. Hopefully you get to see that action going down. Thank you so much for making these three easy slow cooker recipes with me. All of the recipes will be over on largefeelingtable.com and I will see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.